guys welcome back to our channel this is timic tv and i'm Ms. rachel and mama timmy elijah your host it's good to have you again in today's video i'll be showing you how to make your lactic acid lotion lactic acid lotion what is lactic acid lactic acid is an alpha hydroxyl acid used in skin care products and professional treatment okay this lactic acid it's used in skincare product and professional treatment it is naturally found in milk though the lactic acid in most skincare products today is synthetically produced so when buying your your skincare products just be careful and be sure you're getting the right things that's why most times it's advisable to diy your own lotion diy your skincare product that way you know exactly what is going into your skin into your body okay lactic acid is used to exfoliate the skin lighten dark spots and improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles okay and also you should understand that all alpha hydroxyl acid exfoliate and improve skin texture okay but lactic acid has an extra benefit you won't get from it alpha hydroxyl cousin now what you should also know is that when making your lactic acid lotion be sure you are using a base cream that doesn't have carbona in it we have two jeggings lotion here you can use any you can DIY your base cream get any other good cream but in this video i'll be making use of jeggings lotion i'll be making use of this one jegging skin smoothing refine and polishes this one this jeggings egg yolk has carboma in it it has it in the ingredient section and that's why i'm not making use of this particular one you can see it here yeah can you see it but this one doesn't have it in the ingredient section so when getting your product for your lactic acid DIY be sure you're using the one that doesn't have carboma in it lactic acid helps improve the skin natural moisture factor okay it help improve the skin natural moisture factor so when you use lactic acid regularly it can improve signs of aging it also stimulates collagen renewal and can firm your skin hyperpigmentation also fades and fine lines and wrinkle as well it's smoothing and softening your skin lactic acid won't improve those deeper lines please take no note of that okay and also you should understand that there are possibly side effects there are, you know anything that has an advantage has a disadvantage as well there are possible side effects even though lactic acid is gentle it's, it's gentler than other aha like glycolic acid it is still a potent treatment there are some side effects number one sun sensitivity when you use lactic acid you should understand that your sin becomes super sensitive the most important thing you need to know before using lactic acid is that it can make your skin more sensitive to the sun. It leaves new cells more vulnerable to the ultraviolet damage. Okay? So use your SPF. Use your sunscreen. Use your sunblock. Use a, a sunscreen that has a SPF 50 or a higher percentage of it daily to protect your skin from sunburn and sun damage. If you want to know how to DIY your lactic acid lotion, then watch this video till the end. Another possible side effect is skin irritation. Besides sun sensitivity, lactic acid can also cause skin irritation. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for redness, dryness, peeling, burning, swelling, and itchy skin. Okay? It's not like it's going to just give you that. Some people have a very sensitive skin that they tend to react to this. Okay, not everybody will have such experience using lactic acid in their skincare. Okay, minor redness, burning, and itching 
is not uncommon when using it for the first time, when using lactic acid for the first time. But if it is moderate to severe swelling, like moderate to severe burning and itching, and doesn't go away after a short period of time, then you should wash off immediately and discontinue the use of lactic acid. So like I said, I will make use of this jeggings. There are other jeggings in the market. You can use any other product, but be sure it doesn't have carboma. So I will be making my uh, lactic acid lotion now, right away. Just gonna take one tablespoon of this. I want to make 11% lactic acid lotion. I'm gonna take this is one. This is two. Six, seven. What we have here is seven part lotion. I'm going to add in my lactic acid now. One spoon of this. That is it. Now, what you should understand about this lactic acid lotion is that you must start with a lower percentage and then gradually move on. Okay, so for example, okay, let's say what I just did now is 11.8 percent. One part lactic acid, seven part lotion, just as I did. I took seven part lotion, one part lactic acid. That's one spoon of lactic acid, one tablespoon of lactic acid, seven tablespoon of lotion. You can use um, one teaspoon of lactic acid, seven teaspoon of lotion whatever you are using to measure your lactic acid must be the same measurement you use by that i mean if you are using a tablespoon for the lactic acid you must use a tablespoon for the lotion if you are using teaspoon you must use the same if you are using 25 ml whatever you are doing okay but yeah we're talking about teaspoon so one teaspoon one part of lactic acid plus seven parts lotion equals to 11.8 percent lactic acid so some product you see lactic acid 30 percent lactic acid 18 percent lactic acid 15 you know 15 percent lactic acid lotion like that and you know that's how it goes so if you want to make 12.8 percent then you have to use six part lotion one part lactic acid you see how it's moving up gradually from 11 percent we had seven part lotion and now we're going to 12 percent the lotion drops to six part so the lower your lotion the higher the percentage of the lactic acid lotion now five part lotion to one part lactic acid is 15 percent lactic acid lotion so if you are using four part lotion one part lactic acid is equals to 18 part is equal to 18 percent lactic acid okay lotion so all you have to do is just put it there and stir thoroughly. Mix everything together thoroughly so it can incorporate very well. I hope this is not difficult to understand. I'm going to list everything in the description box for you. If you are using five part lotion, one part lactic acid, it automatically means you are making a 15% lactic acid lotion. If you are using four part lotion, one part lactic acid, it automatically means you are making 18% lactic acid lotion. 
three part lotion to one part lactic acid is 22.5 percent lactic acid lotion we also have two paste if you're using two part lotion one part lactic acid it is 30 percent lactic acid lotion we also have 40 percent if you're using one part lotion one part lactic acid that's i do but whatever it is make sure you start with a lower percentage check your skin observe your skin and then gradually you move on to a higher percentage if you don't experience peeling and if you're not okay but you must understand that lactic acid lotion lightens you must not use this as an everyday lotion it helps for a solid it should not be every day like your regular lotion no at least use it three times a week okay and when you are using this lactic acid lotion don't forget to use your sunscreen do not forget to use it because your skin like i said it becomes very sensitive it becomes super sensitive okay that's what i talked about on that sun sensitivity so always use your sunscreen and when using this lotion like this don't use your lightning lotion immediately lightning lotion should be used after 24 hours use this lotion at night then maybe when you're not using your lightning lotion you can use shea butter mix or you just use an essential oil mix okay if you have any question let me know in the comment section i said number one when you see this sunscreen is a must it is a must do not use your lightning lotion immediately do not use your lightning lotion immediately use lightning lotion after 24 hours and when using lactic acid lotion for your face i recommend 15 percent 15 percent should be the highest but you should start with 11.8 percent okay if you have a sensitive skin use 11.8 percent seven part lotion just as i have here for sensitive skin but if you see it's not working well on you then you can move on to 15 percent hope this video is interesting thanks for watching see you in my next video bye